Hello, Internet. It is Ben with another Mysterious Space. Mysterious, mysterious, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. It's a Mysterious Space update. I'm excited because a lot of two-player stuff is now working, and it's working awesome. So I just want to give an example. Previously, uh, the game would fail and crash anytime it tried to save your progress because it was because of the new con like the way controllers are bound to players. It was trying to save that data. It shouldn't do that um, for lots of reasons. One of them is that when you resume a game, and here's a two-player game, uh, you need to bind the controller. So if I press A on my gamepad here, now I'm bound to player one. I can press Enter over here, uh, and now oh, if I give this window focus properly, it's really weird that it does that. Anyway, Enter. Excellent, we have focus. Oh, but maybe player one changes his mind. He doesn't want to use this Xbox controller. He wants to use this Xbox controller. And I'm grabbing another Xbox controller, which I realize you can't see. So I'll do that. And and you can... It's just like you would want a game to, to do. Um, admittedly, this window doesn't look super great, right? It's super basic. Um, but... And, and here's just like co-op. Uh, it's just me today. Um, we can fly around. We can save and quit. And it isn't a problem. And then we could continue the game again. Let's go back and load this guy. Enter, enter, enter. And here we are, back in the level. Now, I don't know 100% why it's blacking out the screen when I uh, do this. That didn't used to happen. Little tiny bug. That should be easy to fix. Um, so many things are working. It's great. And when you conti uh, continue a single-player game, you only have the one and you similarly bind. I probably... I'll... Um, you know, there's no reason for it to ask you what controller do you want to use because you're using a controller right now when you went into that screen, so it can probably guess. Uh, so I'll make it a little smarter. Um, I've also fixed up like the game over screen. Um, a lot of these menus were not working um, when you, you know, it, with with all the controllers, I can I can pick up any controller now and it works. Um, and when they were just crashing for various reasons um, to do with the new way that I, I render things to to support you know, that split screen uh, that, that we just saw. Uh, and yeah, the, the game over, it works, it, it will say, and you know, let's just try it, let's just try it. Uh, player one, yep, yep, okay, and let's let's get ourselves killed. And we should see that the game over, here, I'll try and fly this guy over here, meanwhile, it's time to game over. Now, a little, it is a little awkward that um, the other screen just kind of sits there and, and, and everyone gets to watch, but, um, here we go. Here's player's one score. Here's player's two score. Player one gets to choose with their controllers whether or not we're, we're playing again or whatever. Um, and then we go back and we get to see what, there's player one and there's player two and there are their scores. Equal scores, you, you might notice. Um, and that's something I still have to address. Uh, the bullets don't know who owns them. There's only a distinction of this is a player bullet or this is an enemy bullet. So regardless of who kills an enemy, um, like both people get points and maybe that's okay you know I, I i don't like in co-op games and that's going to be a problem here where when you pick up an item or some money or whatever only one of you gets gets the money like and you know league of legends that always bugs me about league of legends that whole like last hitting thing is stupid it just gives players a reason to get angry at each other oh you didn't let me you're supposed to let me kill it because i'm the sport and you are and, and like you have to if you don't play that way then you're then you're being bad at league of legends like there's no question uh, but the game is set up you know to to create that sort of conflict uh whereas a game like borderlands anyone picks up the money you both get the money um and i and i really prefer that um i you know but i don't know exactly what i'm going to do with equipment uh should, should we get to, you know, every, every time you pick up a, a weapon, both people get that same weapon, or do I allow you to trade? There, there's no way for, to let you trade equipment, which would be really bad. Uh, so maybe, I, you know, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Uh, but I want it to be friendly. I mean, it's co-op, so you should be cooperative. There should be nothing there that, that makes you want to uh, hate the other player. Uh, and real quick, let's, um, you know, I'll just pop this open. Uh, I was watching, not that, that's a funny, that, those were notes from a, from a funny video. Um... I like Extra Credits. It's a video series online on YouTube that talks about game design, and they talk about a lot of cool stuff. And I've been looking over lots of the old ones, um, and I've been doing this for a while, just trying to find ones that kind of uh, w would apply to Mysterious Space. And this was, was one. It was about the different genres. They were talking about how, you know, first-person shooter is kind of a stupid genre because, you know, you wouldn't call Portal a first-person shooter. I mean, it is a first-person shooter but it's not a first person shooter you know, like there is that distinction um it's more of a puzzle game and and so yeah why would you know would you call this game a third person 
you know, shooter? I don't know, or a space shooter? I mean, you're right that it's kind of silly when you when you bring it to other formats. And they talked about that with movies, too. You know, you wouldn't call movies by the, the way that you, you know, the style of film or something. Although, I guess black and white people make that distinction. But again, that doesn't tell you what the movie's about. Anyway, so th they were talking about a paper or, or a book or, or something that kind of broke down genres into different things. And I thought, oh yeah, where are the ways that, you know, where does where does Mysterious Space spin on this? And they're going through these, and it's like, no, that's not Psy Pets. Or, sorry, <laughs> Mysterious Space. I've been thinking about my other game, Psy Pets, because I'm in the process of handing that over to someone else. Uh, but anyway, so yes, Mysterious Space. This isn't Mysterious Space. This isn't Mysterious Space. And I was going, uh-oh, does Mysterious Space fill any needs? Challenge, this is Mysterious Space. Game is obstacle, of course. That is the big thing. And Fellowship. We're getting a little bit of Fellowship. So the idea here is it's the same as with the design pillars or, or anything else. You know, you kind of look at this genre and you and you sit, or you look at a mechanic and you say, does it support the genre? You know, the, the type of game I'm trying to create. And they talked about, you know, what if you wanted to mix together different genres? You know, let's say I want to put some sense pleasure in here. Maybe I want, you know, your shots and enemies to go to the music or whatever. That's how I, you know, that if, if we were about sense pleasure, then that's something I might do as an example. So that's a mechanic you would put in to support sense pleasure. But again, that's not what Mysterious Space is about. Um, Mysterious Space really seems to be these two things and maybe maybe little discovery. Of, I would like more discovery, but, but uh, Mysterious Space is admittedly light in that area. Anyway, mainly I wanted to show off the uh, amazing co-op stuff because Again, you know, previously when I showed you the demo just a few days ago uh, with my friend Katie, the game crashed when we left the level. Uh, that sort of thing no longer happens anymore. We can save. It's it's great. Um, uh, be sure. Uh, oh, but you know, it's going to just take so long to go and find all the fuel, so I won't show you. But believe me, things are wonderful and working. Also, trying to control two players at once is hilarious. <laughs> um, which one am I? Okay. Uh, anyway, it works. It works. You can leave the level, and it's awesome. Uh, I did it before, doing just this, controlling both with, uh, and getting confused about who's who. Also, you may remember from the demo before, there was a little problem about displaying your ship color. Uh, that is now properly displayed. Um, and gosh, it's so disorienting at times like this. Anyway, it's awesome. It's awesome. The point is that's awesome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. Thank you for all your comments and your feedback. And I will hope to have this co-op version of Mysterious Space I think I can get everything worked out and playable in like like a week max, uh, max, uh, probably less than that, and, and then this will be out there uh, for, for you guys to play, and I think that would be super fantastic, um, and I hope you do, you do too. Anyway, thank you again, and goodbye.